Certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Mondro with your Wednesday morning update and going into today we are tracking still relatively a quieter forecast compared to yesterday morning. We do have some fog out there this morning, but that'll continue to lift over the next few hours, but we do have some cloud cover, so I think that's what's going to keep that fog lingering just a little bit longer. So typically on a clear summer morning, fog usually lifts by around 7 or 8 o'clock. It may be closer to about 10 o'clock eventually once we see that fog lifting. Temperature stuck in the 70s for today over at the Midland Country Club just with more of this cloud coverage could see a spotty shower there. I do think in Midland though, if you see any rain, it'll stay on the lighter side. Slightly better chance for the scattered rain, especially the farther south you go today. Owasso, Flint and Lapeer with the best chance relatively across the rest of mid Michigan could see an isolated thunderstorm today too. But if we do happen to see any storm activity should be quite isolated and still nowhere near as strong as yesterday morning storms. Any rain that does form today though does come to an end for tonight. Highs for today mid to upper 70s for our southern areas. I do think the city of Flint specifically could could reach 80 this afternoon. We have 73 in Harbor Beach, 74 for Cass City, 79 into Midland for your high later on today, 74 into West Branch, then north of the Saginaw Bay. Those highs still mid 70s inland, only around 69 though into Alabaster, right on the shoreline of Lake Huron. Now your first alert hour by hour going towards the end of the week here and the weekend still does show some chances for rain that we are tracking specifically on Saturday. Some of this rain starts up on Friday night. We've had this chance of rain in your first alert forecast for several days now and it does still hold as of this morning, but even still I would definitely not completely write off this weekend uh, because of some of the rain chances that are here. So again, the rain moves in on Friday night as we go over into our Saturday. We'll still wake up to some rain in the morning, but already seeing some signs that the rain starts to leave later on in the day on Saturday and we're still looking completely dry for your Sunday, partly to mostly sunny there. It will be about 10 degrees cooler on Sunday compared to Saturday though. Otherwise though, we have the chance of scattered showers today that round on Friday night to Saturday and then some more rain around Tuesday. But other than that, the forecast is still fairly quiet going forward from here. And that first alert seven day certainly still nowhere near as hot as last week. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.